Welcome Leo, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with over this period of time. Okay, we'll be using Divine Directions and Angels and Ancestors Oracle and the Light Seas Tarot. Okay, let's get into it here Leo. Just reorganize my life here. Okay, Leo, from Divine Directions we have the first card flip out and I don't know what it is yet because it's upside down that's okay next card one more card for Leo please thank you all right decide it's time for you to make a decision call upon your spirit guides for help that's the first card Next card is time. The universe is helping you. Look for synchronistic events around you. Okie dokie. And the next card here is friends. Spend more time with your friends. Share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Very good. Okay. I feel like there's... Um, something that you're unsure of yeah something you're unsure of a decision that needs to be made and the thing is here Leo is that um, with this decision okay whatever you're trying to decide it's really important for you to be tapped in and tuned in so that you can see these synchronistic events. Okay, so that you can see the messages from the universe and the signs. Because I feel like you've been asking, but then because um, you're so focused on this decision, um, then you are not really seeing the signs or the you know, the things that are trying to lead you in the direction that you need to go in. And also, this is about you tapping into this intuition as well and listening to that, okay? Um, and the other thing I want to say is that, you know, talking to your friends can really help because, you know, sometimes it's the case that we can go over and over and over something in our minds and when we actually voice it to someone, we click on to things. It's like, oh my gosh, yes, that's why this and, you know, that's why that happened or that's why, you know, I thought this and oh, I can see because the other day, you know, I saw the sign about this and I think that's where I'm meant to go or whatever. Um, so, you know, you get the gist, right? So, yeah. Okay, so. I don't like how they went, came out. Okay. <laughs> Start again. Something's off here. Something's really off. What is going on here, Leo? I, I just wonder if it, things feel a little bit scattered for you. I wonder if it's your thoughts. Could be feeling scattered. I, I actually wonder if you need to um, declutter um, either your thoughts, declutter your home, there's something that needs to be sorted out. And you're holding back on something as well here, Leo. You're holding back. And is it about this decision? Is that what you're holding back about? Okay, so we have Elder. Oh, I love this. Beyond, move beyond ancestral patterns. Okay. Okay, so it I'm I just wonder if if this um especially with this decision here for some of you this could be some kind of pattern that you may not even be aware of, to be honest with you. Um or you might be. There's something ancient that you need to tap into. And I, this time card is jumping out at me. 
the universe is helping you look for synchronistic events around you. I wonder if there's someone around you who is tapped into some kind of ancestral or is able to tap into some kind of ancestral knowledge. Or maybe you can, Leo. Oh, this is really, this is cryptic already and we've only just started. We've got, I don't know how that flipped out. Do I take it? Yes, I do. I take that. This is the thing. This is how I feel like this is your energy. Like, you're really not sure. Like, you want to proceed, but you're not sure. You're not sure. It's not clear to you. And I think you're you're sort of afraid of making the wrong move. Yeah, you're afraid of making the wrong move. We've got the King of Swords here. Um, I feel like this is this communication with this ancestral thing. Oh man, that's giving me the shivers. It's totally right. Um, I'm just wondering too if there's this actual need for communication. Um, there's... Uh, this sense of maybe without communicating something there's the opportunity for wires to get crossed and I think it's really important for you to be quite clear okay um there's also this wisdom that needs to be tapped into here Leo and whether that's from you or from someone else it is there for you to utilize okay uh, I feel like there's some sort of tie to something that needs to be cut. And yeah, I can see you sort of sitting there like this this dude here, like the King of Swords here going, contemplating, contemplating something. And it's weighing on you. It is weighing on you, but I don't feel it needs to weigh on you. I feel like maybe you're too much in your head about it a little bit. Because we can do that, right? We can absolutely do that. When there's a decision to be made, sometimes it's hard not to get into your head. don't know why, but I feel like I want to cover my mouth. I feel like I don't want to. It's like this thing of like, don't say it, don't say it. And I just wonder for you if that's how you're feeling right now. But I feel like the communication is necessary and I don't actually feel like it will be maybe as bad as what you think. Um, or it's like once you do actually make this communication whatever that is with whoever that is that's going to be okay this could also be information from ancestral lines that um needs to come through and um yeah see it's time for you to make a decision call upon your spirit guides for help so yeah this is pretty like wowzer wowzer the knight of wands Okay, so when I just I just want you to be mindful of when you when when we okay sorry 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 let me start over when we make a decision we can get super excited because the decision's being made and it's like yes finally now I can go ahead with this and we get super excited but sometimes we can get so excited that we go too hard and too fast so really honestly. It feels like there needs to be baby steps here, okay, because what happens is we can beat that drum so freaking hard that it just goes boof and it sets on fire and it freaks everything else. Like, look at the horse in the background here, freaking out. She's having the time of her life, okay, but everything around her is getting destroyed. So I feel like it's very important to be cautious of this um, so that things don't crash and burn or well, you don't crash and burn okay um yeah because i noticed in the background here there's these four of wands and that can be about creating a, a home life creating a um, family it could be a new beginning in a relationship for some of you for some of you it could be that, that a, a relationship has gone boof because there was two 
the movement was too quick to begin with. Okay, so um, yeah, I feel like open and honest communication is key here. Okay, wow, that was very cryptic, but I feel like we're on par now. Hopefully, the next card isn't as cryptic, but if it is, that's cool. Okay, so yeah, call upon your spirit guides to help you though, Leo, because they're there, they're there to help you, you just need to ask. Okay, so let's have a look. <laughs> Just get in the right card for you. Just get in the right card here. What do we need to tell Leo? Mother Earth. Oh, I love this. Oh, that's so beautiful. Feel loved and comforted. Okay. Okay, Leo. Anyway, Leo. Feel loved and comforted. This, I feel, is about you opening up to that about you feeling loved and comforted. <sighs> um, the universe is helping you, okay? So you need to be aware of these synchronistic events. So these events that are happening around you, or there are people coming into your life who are willing to love you and comfort you, okay? There's this new new beginning here there's this birthing a creation some sort of creation of something okay and I feel like this is you allowing it in and I just wonder now if you know it's been the case that in the past and this could have been through your family lines where you've gone into something full on the communication hasn't been fully there okay the king of swords he knows how to communicate but he can be quite harsh as well okay but I just wonder if lines got crossed things went too hard and fast and they crashed and burned okay so now it's the opportunity to create something different and the fact of the matter is Leo you have the ability to actually do this okay you have what it takes to do this I just don't believe that you I think you do. I think you feel like, well, it's always happened this way for everyone that I've I've um, been with or everyone in my family or whatever. So what's the point? No point. Let's just not bother about that, you know. But there's been things that have been happening for you that um, have shown you that this, it's like, the alignment of the stars is going kind of like everything's lining up, everything is aligned, and it's time to receive this and also to give it. Okay, it's actually a natural thing to occur, if you like. Tell me more about Mother Earth for Leo. Um, and yeah, this is this transition, right? Oh, I'm getting the shivers. This is this transition here. Um, of this some, growing something really beautiful um, yeah that you are a little bit reluctant you're reluctant because of of things in the past I think yes strength strength look at this Leo here you are here right I kind of feel like, Leo, you've you've grown the ability to learn to balance things. And um, I feel like you, you see, look at this. There's this thing here. I hope you can see this. I'm not sure if you can. But this is written in the stars. It's like this is written in the stars. But there's something, I think, I, I feel like I need to say to you, Leo, that there's been some sort of repetitive pattern that's been happening throughout your life or even throughout your lifetimes, okay? And I feel like you don't have the goods to make this happen and, and actually you do because you've learned so much that you have the ability to balance things, okay, in a way that maybe before you couldn't, and um, yeah, I feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit right now, you've lost faith, you've lost faith in yourself, death and rebirth, a reoccurring thing, this is a reoccurring, things end, things begin, things end, things begin, okay, and um, 
and it takes strength. It takes strength to deal with the ending. It also takes strength to start a new beginning. And there's this new beginning that is here. Um, and <sighs> there's this fear though. There's this fear. Mm. But I feel like this new beginning is really positive. It's a really positive thing, to be honest. And um, yeah, why is that? Because like, do you know what, Lee? I just keep getting the sense of like going to walk towards the new beginning and then boom, getting like hitting a brick wall kind of thing. And I don't know if you are hitting a brick wall or whether you are creating the brick wall so that you don't go forward because you're like, no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm totally not doing that. Just not. I'm not sure. We've got, oh, we've got two cards here. We've got snake. Oh, yes, 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 Leo, yes. Um, uh, the other card, I'll look at in a minute. Snake, shed old skin. Yeah, Leo, it's time. Because the thing is that you have to remember that the snake does shed its skin. It's not the same. You know, it goes through these cycles of shedding its skin all the time and there seems to be this perception that you carry your skin with you and you don't. You actually don't. You Put it this way, you have the ability to recreate yourself and the fact of the matter is that you have been in the process of recreating yourself. Even if things didn't work, work out, even if things did crash and burn, even if there was miscommunication along the way somewhere, even if things were so absolutely messed up that you wouldn't have even been able to undo it if you tried. It happens. Okay? I, I feel like it's a matter of you to stop beating yourself up over that and realise that you can shed that skin and slide into something new. You know, actually... Um, and, and look, I know, I know, I can understand that when you shed that skin, this new skin is, it's fresh, it's clean, it's vulnerable, it hasn't um, sort of hardened against the elements yet. And, and it feels like that with your heart, you know, it's kind of like, oh, it's still so fresh. How do I, how do I actually, you know, do this? <laughs> um, and, and it can be scary, you know, but... Leo, if you um, have faith in the progress that you've made, you will see that you do have the ability, you do have the tools, you have the ability um, with the communication, you have grown the skills to be able to communicate things differently than what you previ previously have, okay? And, and at the moment, it seems like you're looking back going, oh, yeah, but this didn't work out and that didn't work out. But the fact of the matter is you have this new beginning here that is 100% ready to work out for you, you know? And so it's very important for you to start to embrace that, I feel, and, and that's not to minimise the fear or, or to say that, oh, that's nothing. Just, you know, it's not about that at all, okay? It's about you embracing what is within you and actually using that to, um, to using that to create what it is that you've always wanted to create because I feel like you've always had this dream you've always had this vision it's just you never quite knew how to use it properly um because you didn't have the skills or you didn't have the tool, tools right but now you do and what you realize I I'm, I've got this feeling is that what you realize is that it was never outside of you it's always been within you Okay, and, and you've been able to light now these candles. You are able now to light these candles from what is within you. Whereas before, she was, you know, there was this use of this fire from externally. But now, Leo, you can use that internally. And it's not, that's not the, the fire that sets the forest on fire. This is the fire, the gentle fire that lights the candles to have this beautiful setting. You know, this is there's a massive difference here. Okay. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Um 
we've got the next card here, which is wise one. Grow within your current situation. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is here with this new beginning. This is you allowing your wisdom to come through, quietening the thoughts and letting the wisdom speak. Okay, because if you look at the crow here, the crow represents swords, okay, and this represents thoughts, and the crow has to, is, is biting on this bead here, and it's, it has no choice, it has to be quiet. Its job is to keep the bead safe, and very cleverly, you know, she's gone, do you know what, would you keep this safe for me, and that actually shuts the crow up. And so it's sort of like this quietens your mind to allow the wisdom within you to come forth and speak. Okay. One thing I want to say here, Leo, is don't mistake fear as wisdom. You And, and you know the difference. You do know the difference of that knowingness and the fear speaking. So, um, yeah, I kind of do feel like that that's quite important for you. Page of Wands, yeah, this is you learning. This is you learning, um, you know, to grow within the situation, right? But, but have fun with it. You know, play around with it and go, I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm, I'm willing to learn to do things in another way. You know, I'm willing to learn to utilize these new skills that I have developed. You know, because whatever whatever it is that you're going into, be it a, a job situation, a, you know, starting something that you're really passionate about, a new relationship, whatever it is, Leo, because I feel like you've had these, I, this idea of how it all should go, but now things are changing and I think it's taking you a little bit unawares. And it's like, oh, this, this wasn't how it was meant to happen. I don't know if I can I can deal, you know. And um, but the fact of the matter is you do have the ability to to maneuver your way through this change, okay? And it really is about you going with the flow, okay, to let the change transpire, let it happen. Because when we resist that, when we try and swim upstream, it's exhausting and it doesn't work. That's not the that's not the direction we're meant to be going in. We're meant to be going in the direction of the flow. We're meant to be letting the current of the universe of life carry us, you know. Um, so, yeah, I really love this. So this is you learning new ways and having fun with it. Because whoever it is around you, be it friends, a new partner, whatever, whoever is around you, they're going to be doing the same thing. They'll match that. You know, because everything it, it, everything is aligning for you, you know. So, yeah, this is cool, man. This is really cool. Um, okay, next card for Wise One, Page of Cups. Learning again. Yes, and this very well could be in a new relationship, right, with the Page of Cups coming out here. Learning to communicate in a new way, learning to use these skills, okay, but also learning... What, what does go in my cup? What do I want to put in my cup? You know, what, what am I going to fill it with? You know, and, um, you know, knowing that it's not, you're not going to, because this is the thing I'm just hearing from some of you about a new relationship. Yeah, right, when pigs fly. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, the thing is that you can try and put a flight and pig in your cup, but it's not going to work. You're putting a fish in your cup that's full of these amazing emotions and the fish is going to thrive. Okay, so it's up to you what you want to put in that cup. Because even if, um, you know, you the thing is you need to fill this cup because at the end of the day, um, that cup also represents this love that you have for yourself. And what does that look like? You know, because if you want... Um, people to come into your life, be it friends, um, you know, family, new partners in a job, if you want them to come into your life and give you the respect that you deserve, then what respect are you giving to yourself? So yeah, just ponder that, okay? What are you what are you filling your cup with? Because whoever comes into your life, um, they're going to be a match for that. Okay, so this is very important for you. 
And if you want a fulfilling, loving relationship, then you need to make sure your cup is filled with exactly what it is that you want to receive. Okay, and and it, and it will happen. You will we will find that person who has that cup filled with that all that good, scrumptious, yummy stuff, right? So yeah. Okay, so next card for Leo, please. Leo. Next card for Leo. Here we go. Any more? Oh yeah, there it is. Sweet. Alrighty. Love it. Spring. Spring. New beginnings. See your seeds grow. <laughs> you know, this is what plant seeds do you want to plant? What what do you want that to look like, right? Um, and you know, these are the seeds that you planted a while ago, and now it's spring, they're starting to sprout. You know, this is all the work that you've been doing on yourself here, Leo. So this is great. I really love this for you. Okay, so spring. Tell me more about spring for Leo. Oh, look at those two spring out. Just like that. Bing. Okay, five of swords and the queen of cups. Oh, yes. See, this is what I was talking about. The queen of cups. She knows it was a new cup, man. She ain't accepting anything less. And... I wonder if this is the sphere for you, right? We've got the five of swords here in your head about it, feeling defeated, and this may be in past relationships, past jobs, past whatever. Okay, feeling defeated, feeling like, oh, didn't work out again, you know, and um, just not willing to go back to that feeling of, um, of like, yeah, I bombed out again. I shouldn't have even bothered. Why did I try? You know, but this Queen of Cups here, she knows what's in her cup. She ain't accepting anything less. Okay, never mind the fact it's a female. Just the energy is what we're focusing on here. This could be a Queen of Cups coming into your life. Someone with their cup filled with all the good stuff. And you may look at that and go, huh, whoops. Ah, oh, actually... I might want to fill my cup with some really good stuff to match that. Maybe I do, you know. So this is about you learning how to do that here, Leo, and letting your friends, letting people around you guide you, you know, to doing that. And, and what does that look like? Looking at people with really good relationships um, or good jobs and seeing what it is that they do to create that and, and maintain that you know, because that's really also what it is about, maintaining it, and that is through clear and effective communication, right? So yes, this is this is pretty cool, man. Um, you know, so you really are, you know, there's, there is this decision to make. So again, I just want to reiterate, before I continue on with the last card, to call upon your spirit guides here, Leo. Okay, look for the synchronistic events around you. Okay, and share your thoughts with someone who understands you. Okay, and this is this communication, right? And this could be very well with this queen or king of cups, you know, depending on who is watching this. So, yeah, we've got Father Sky here. Trust in the unknown. <laughs> Go with the flow. Go with the flow because the universe is leading you in the right direction. Things have not happened for no reason. You know, when we're talking about synchronistic events, you can't deny these things. Okay, it's showing you. The universe is helping you. Okay, and it's showing you. <laughs> like, it's just like you're sort of like, like eagle here. No! Trying to put on the brakes and a screeching halt. Like, no! Don't take me. <laughs> but, you know, Leo, there's just some things that you can't, you can't help, right? Um, yeah, so I really love this. But I feel like this is also saying to you that you are being watched over and you are being taken care of. So, you know, it's okay. It's okay to go with the flow, okay, and go down the track that you want to go down. <sighs> yeah. Two cards for Father Sky, please, for Leo. Two cards for Father Sky, for Leo. I love the Queen of Wands energy here for you as well. I've got one card, next card for Leo. This is Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this is you really learning, man. Big time learning a new way. 
a new way to grow things. Oh my gosh, yes, I love this. You've got the page of pentacles, learning to grow, learning to utilize this pentacle, right? This, this, this dream, you know, because I, I think you've had this dream and it's what you've always wanted. And it could be in business. It could be in, you know, um, something that you're passionate about. It could be in a relationship. It could be all of those things. You know, these, in this pentacle here, you have these little things, nodules, I suppose you could call them, um, here. And they could represent all these different things, you know, a job, a career, a, a passion, a relationship, a home, a family, whatever it is, they can all represent these different things. And you're looking at all this and going, how do I actually compact this into one to make it all happen so I have everything that I've ever dreamed of? You know, um, and, and Father Sky is leading to you towards that. You know, the universe is helping you and guiding you. Like, this is freaking awesome, man. Like, I, this is almost mind-blowing because I, I, I hope I've made it clear that you are supported in every which way to make this happen for you because now we have the Ten of Pentacles come out and this is all your wishes fulfilled. This is your dreams come true. This is your happily ever after. This is everything you've ever wanted. In love, in business, in family, in hobbies, in everything. Everything, every, everything. It's everything. <laughs> I can't. What else do I say about that? You know? Um, so this is what is there for the taking for you. But in order to get to this, each portion of this has to be embraced okay and that takes me back to mother earth okay feel loved and comforted because that is really ultimately what it is all about okay leo i'm gonna leave that with you take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye